We continue to follow breaking news this noon on the death of O.J. Simpson. His family confirmed he died after a battle with cancer at the age of 76. Simpson spent decades in the public eye, first as a superstar athlete at the University of Southern California before a career in the NFL and ending up playing for the Buffalo Bills, then Hollywood fame. But it all changed on June 17, 1994. Simpson turned fugitives as he led police on a chase on a Los Angeles freeway. The country stood still and watched every step of the way of that chase as it eventually evolved into a trial, one of the most controversial acquittals in history. Now, the case, now decades ago, lasted more than 400 days. This afternoon, we are joined by a man who followed that trial for Eyewitness News every step of the way. John Johnson is joining us now. John, what a pleasure it is to see you. It's Just a pleasure to see you, Sam. What Thank we you. Yeah, what we're curious about is your memories of, of covering that trial that riveted the nation, in addition to the acquittal that, quite frankly, stunned a lot of folks and the reaction afterwards. Well, it was quite, um, it was very, very, in a way, deeply personal for me, uh, not only to cover the trial, uh, as a journalist and as a person, because I knew O.J. Simpson and Nicole Brown socially. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we had been out together. And uh, one evening when I danced with Nicole, um, O.J. became very upset with me. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of the end of the relationship. He became very jealous and upset. So then the next step is I'm in a courtroom watching him on trial for the murder of Nicole and her friend Ron. Um, it was emotional for me and very involving. And one of the interesting moments in the case is when um, O.J. was asked to try on a pair of leather gloves. One of the gloves was found at the scene of the murder, and another glove was found at O.J.'s house. And when he tried on the gloves, a riveted courtroom was watching, and they didn't fit. Mm -hmm. And Johnny Cochran, then O.J.'s lawyer, made a profound or a very famous statement. If it doesn't fit, you can't convict. So that was, um, well, if it, he actually said, if it doesn't fit, you, you must, must quit. quit. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that was a profound moment in that trial. And it was like very dramatic. Um, and I think that that was very important for the jury. But also, I think another thing that was important for the jury, Mark Furman, the detective who allegedly found the glove, the bloody glove, was found to be, in recordings, a, uh, a racist. He had referred to black people as um, very negative terms. And this raised a question um, to the jurors that uh, O.J.'s defense had raised, that Mark Furman had planted this glove. Um, to make people think that it was a O.J. Simpson because Furman was a racist. In any event, um, it was a, not a surprise, but it was still shocking yeah. when the jury came back and yeah. said, O.J., not guilty. Let me ask you this. Because yes. it is a controversial figure we're talking about here. Someone who had kind of two lives. One as an American hero, amazing running back, Hollywood figure. And then we saw what happened afterwards and even later down the line in Las Vegas. How should, do you believe Americans should remember him? Especially people who don't, who weren't there in 94, don't remember what happened. How should we remember O.J. Simpson? Or how do you think he'll be remembered? Well, I think you should remember the facts. And the facts were and uh, still are. He was a great athlete. He had a very successful career after being an athlete on television and in the movies. And then um, he became world famous because of this trial and accusation that he had killed his wife and her friend, savagely stabbing them. Yeah. Um, I think 
the world should remember this. If O.J. Simpson didn't kill Ron Goldman and his wife, Nicole, then who did? <laughs> then if O.J. didn't, the killer is still out there of Nicole and Ron Goldman. Yeah. I have to think about that. John Johnson, you did today what you always did. You got right down to brass tacks. Thank you so much for sitting down with us this afternoon and sharing your memories with us.